of course, this is a double dip because the following night, the teams go to Bridgeport, New Jersey. Brent Hearn, starting up front, jumps out to the lead over Bob McCready, making his return after that kind of controversial 200 the year before Bridgeport. There was some controversy in this race, but we'll get to that later on. Before that, a wild battle at the front of the field, and a ton of guys involved. Doug Hoffman in the quarter 16, McCready, and Billy Pouch in the Fouch BNFM1. Now, Bridgeport's a 5-8 mile track. Pouch is running a mile here all the way around the outside, but put on a great show for the team. Watch him just carry it right up to the wall here as he works on McCready. Meanwhile, Hearn is still up front in this one. Now he's pressured by Hoffman, and here comes Pouch, who is just flying through the field. Great racing at Bridgeport. As you can see, the drivers are either running well down low or way, way, way on the outside. And look at here, Pouch goes around Hearn, who's actually running on the outside. Hearn's probably wondering, where did he come from? Did he go out of the park and come back? And now Pouch makes the same move, past Hoffman to take the lead. Just great racing at the Bridgeport Speed Lane. Now Hoffman trying to get the lead back and actually was successful, but then Pouch retook it. Unfortunately for Billy, this would not be a victory for him. With eight laps left to go, the left rear tire said, see ya. Pouch heads to the pits, and it's Hoffman now who gets the advantage. He'll go on to win, but does he? Now the story's not quite over because when he crosses the scales, the dirt officials throw the big DQ at him. He had switched cars, ran one car in the heat race and another in the feature. 